Hundred thousand for the cheapest ring on a nigga finger, little bitch. Ooh. How the flu went out to Spain to be in my domain, all the model bitch. Who drop three dollars? What's up, YouTube? We're back again today with another video. And today we are down square to go to the Invicta store. Let's go. After walking around that store almost an hour, I finally found my mama watch. I found myself two watches, and I still somehow managed to find another watch that they didn't have, and I ordered it online. After a week of searching, I finally found a Nike store, and man, I could not believe how big it was. It even had a negative floor. <laughs> the negative floor actually was the New York floor, which contained all New York City, merchandise well new york nike combined collab however you want to put it but man they had some beautiful stuff on that floor i can't even lie i definitely did not expect that but i think that's dope i think every state should have their own nike collab there wasn't much on the first floor so i went instantly to the second floor got to the second floor and that was the women and babies floor and they had some of the cutest shoes in there. <laughs> I had to make sure I got some footage. Had to walk up some more steps to the third floor, which was the men's floor. Man, they had some fly stuff, like really top notch stuff I haven't even seen before. And I've been wearing Nike all my life. I really wish I had the funds to really splurge <laughs> and show y'all, but Really, it was still just a great opportunity to go and look and see, you know, what a store in a big city really looks like. The men's floor was pretty cool, though. I can, re I can really say they had a lot of stuff on that floor. But moving on up to the shoe floor. Now, the shoe floor, oh, my goodness. Take a look. Take a look. Do y'all see this? Like, this is something you see on a TV show or, like, on a commercial. This is not, well, for me it is. <laughs> this is not something I just see in every store I go in. They had some of the most exclusive shoes I've saw. I mean, I'm not as big of a sneakerhead as some of my friends, but I'm just saying they had some exclusive kicks, like the twos. They had an icy pair of tens. Hey, I don't know what, and I don't know what those were, but those right there, those are so hard to me. I, I've been considering getting a pair, but I have a big foot, so I don't really know how they'll look on me. I was glad that I finally got to see those LeBrons in person. I had always said I wanted a pair, but I had never even went to the store to look at them. 
Um, I like these. I don't know what they are, but they were dope to me. If you know what they are, drop the name of them in the comment section below. Uh, I hate I didn't buy any shoes. I, I could have, but I went to New York on a mission. I was trying to be conservative with my money. Up the last flight of steps, and we are on the Nike Expert Studio. Now, this floor, this floor was fly. Like, the style, the whole layout. Like, people really took their time to design this floor. And it really goes to show. Because the when it, even the mannequins, the clothes on the mannequins, uh, the, the small uh, patches, I guess they are, that you can stitch on your shirt. Like, the way they had everything laid out, it was just... It was it was cool. It was very nice. It was really nice. Well sought out too. Walking back to my truck and I see Radio City Music Hall, but never in my life have I seen a three-story McDonald's, only in New York. What's going on, everybody? So, I got some big news. Today is my last day in New York. Uh, due to the coronavirus and all of that stuff, I'm going back home. I don't, I'm not trying to get that nice for the hell. And uh, everybody else on the job is going home, so out of here i'm excited though i miss my family i miss my girlfriend i miss my mama my grandparents uh my friends oh i miss my friends man i miss everybody like <laughs> people i don't even want to see i know i hey I, I miss all y'all um yeah so it is now midnight uh my flight leaves at eight I'll be at the airport at six. I'm gonna stay up because uh, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Find me something to put on, take me a shower, get myself ready so I can be out of here. I see y'all at the airport. Seven seconds later.
I was so excited. I didn't think through how I was going to record when I got home. So I didn't really record too much. But shout out to my daddy, a.k.a. Ballhead, <laughs> for coming to get me from the airport. Um, I know. How you doing? What's wrong with you? Hey. Come on, let's do some shit. Oh, my God. Much later. Much, much later. to go I gotta watch the big boy now why I might watch my cousin's car I don't know yet. still decide hey what y'all got going on over there what y'all got going on over there Hey, What's going on, everybody? Oh, it feels so good to be at home and sit down. As y'all can see, I'm barbecuing. <laughs> it's raining and I'm barbecuing, but I ain't care, man. I needed me some hot dogs. I needed me a burger. You feel me? But, um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm sorry. Like, I'm, I'm still learning the process of editing. Like, editing and getting footage so just keep watching keep staying with me keep subscribing keep coming and i promise you it's only gonna get better this is just the beginning thank you everybody for y'all support man i'm just trying to do something new trying to trying to succeed trying to make a success for myself like trying to make my family proud of me trying to make a change in the world like, i'm just trying to be a better person than i was the day before man but I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm about to cook this food. I'm finna grow up. I'll see y'all next time. God bless. Hundred thousand for the cheapest ring on the nigga finger, little bitch. Ooh. I done flew one out to Spain to be in my domain and automotive bitch. Ooh. 